the truth can be boring. Lies can be quite lively. In prior videos, we saw that vast amounts of money are spent to influence our web browsing environment. And the world's governments work hard to influence the search engines. Attempts to control information and public perception is not a new thing. All these rich, influential groups are probably not throwing away their time and money. The principles of influence are effective and well understood. Our view of the world has probably changed as a result of their efforts, their manipulations. So now we should ask ourselves a few important questions. Do large, powerful groups have motivations that are contrary to my interests? Would the people running the governments of the world lie to me or keep me in ignorance of necessary critical information? Is understanding reality better than believing what I'm told? And if I'm wrong, can I change? If your answer to any or all of these questions is no, then you should probably stay out of the security profession. <laughs> On the other hand, it's easy to just give up. While there may be comfort in blaming error and ignorance on uncontrollable forces, giving up's just a lazy dead end. We can discern truth. Our choices matter. The proof is that powerful entities spend so much effort attempting to manipulate us and control our access to information. A better response is to ask, how do I evaluate the accuracy of presented information? How do I analyze information for accuracy, consistency, and completeness? How do I make rational decisions that are anchored in reality? A security professional must develop an approach for evaluating information. Some of us are quite rigorous in our search for truth. Rigor is nice if you have the time. The minimum a security professional asks is, who presented this information? How reliable are they? Did they attempt to discern the truth or they just pass some crap around? Why was this information presented to me? And finally, how does this information interact with everything else I know? If all this seems overwhelming, it helps to know that some internet resources have a history of accurate evaluation and reporting that spans decades. They have developed adequate methodologies for establishing and publishing truth. Studying how they do it can help us to improve. For example, both Consumer Reports and Snopes publicly admit when they make mistakes and learn from their mistakes. They publish their evaluation criteria. They publish their evaluation data and sources. And they disengage themselves from external funding and control. Finally, even if your boss believes everything he reads on The Onion, you can do better.